A couple weeks ago, I was invited to Pokemon Challengers Invitational. This was a big tournament to be played on Pokemon Showdown in the Random Battles tier. Random Battles, exactly as the name implies, means that you have no control over the Pokemon that you are given. Pokemon are given levels based on how good they are, and basically you're just told to play. Now this Invitational was a chance to play people I have never played before and show off just a little bit of my Pokemon luck. I mean skill. So in order to prep for this tournament, I decided to play on the Gen 8 Random Battles ladder with the the goal of hitting top 10, basically familiarizing myself with what I'd be getting into. I unfortunately did not hit top 10 before the tournament started, but spoilers, I ended up winning the entire Random Battles Invitational, but I wasn't satisfied. I had set out to hit top 10 on the Random Battles ladder, and that's exactly what I was going to do. So before we go any further, if you enjoy this type of video, or if you are enjoying this video at any given point, feel free to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe. My end of the year goal is 300,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm PokemonMD. I upload competitive Pokemon content, and I absolutely love Pokemon. So if you love Pokemon too, feel free to subscribe. So at the time of the stream, I was about 150 points away from top 10 on the ladder. My first team involved Kling Clank, Pelipper, Hitmonlee, Naganadel, Bronzong, and Cresselia. And I, of course, could only see Melmetal from my opponent. Without even knowing my opponent's team, I knew that Naganadel would be very important. It has everything you want in a random battles Pokemon. It is fast, it has a move to sweep, and it uses Dynamax very, very well. So my first turn, I decided to go Bronzong. I knew that if I wanted Naganadel to sweep, I needed Stealth Rock up to just get that chip damage on every single one of my opponent's Pokemon. This Melmetal was already going to be a huge problem because while I could deal with its stab defensively, it could just out damage my entire team. After getting up Stealth Rock and eventually finding out that my opponent both had Hitmonchan and Scizor, they eventually U-turn now as I go Pelipper into Dracozolt, revealing the biggest threat to my team. If this Dracozolt was carrying a Choice Scarf, it not only outsped my entire team, but could click Bolt Beak very safely without any drawback besides its own hustle ability lowering its accuracy and if bolt beat goes before the opponent it becomes 170 base power this was a threat i decided to sack bronzong and then bring out cresselia to see if this thing did outspeed me if it didn't i could two kill with moonblast and then deal with one of the bigger threats to my team provided they didn't dynamax go for max airstream to outspeed me and just effectively sweep me it worked they switched out and after a few thunder waves and some wild charges into melmetal to put it in range of fire blast from my Noggin Adele, I decided to put my plan into action. I fire blasted as they went Hitmonchan, then they doubled into Scizor on the Sludge Wave, but at that point, it was already too late. Enough of their team had been revealed and enough damage had been taken where I felt confident and comfortable to click the Dynamax button, not only so I couldn't miss Fire Blast on Scizor, but so I could start boosting my special attack and just cleanly sweep them. So just like that, I got my first win in the 150 points I needed to hit top 10. Game two is an example of something I don't like to do in random battles, and I feel like my opponent would have been in a better position had they not done it. They had a Swords Dance Farfetch, it was at 14%, and they thought, I'm gonna go ahead and try and sweep you now, even though you haven't revealed two Pokemon. Now, I don't blame them because Farfetch holds the stick or the leak, which means that most of its moves have a higher chance of critting. However, without knowing my last two Pokemon and being that low on HP, it just felt too early to do that. As I revealed a Veltal, was able to sucker punch the Dynamax Farfetch and win the game comfortably with the combination of my own Cramorant and Dynamax Machamp. Game three, my opponent's team was absolutely terrifying. They had not only high attack Pokemon in Scyther, Tauros, and Urshifu, but they also had those high speed Pokemon in Tauros and Urshifu, and also one of the best Pokemon in random battles, in my opinion, which is Mimikyu, simply because of its disguise ability, giving it the opportunity to set up for free. After an untimely Rock Tomb miss, as I predicted the Tauros switch into Scyther, my opponent revealed their Mimikyu, and I fell back into a corner and pressured to Dynamax, just so I wouldn't lose to a plus two Shadow Sneak. So I Dynamaxed my Mars Shadow just so I could take the plus two Shadow Sneak from Mimikyu and not straight up lose. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, my opponent still had Tauros left, which could come in, hit me with a Life Orb Sheer Force Zen Headbutt, knock me out, and then later Dynamax and have the speed tier over my last two Pokemon just to knock them out. So I had taken my first L, and I had lost quite a bit of points. After my first loss, it was time to bounce back. The next game had given me Zamazenta. Now, regular Zamazenta, without its shield form, is actually incredible has a high speed tier, and typically holding the choice ban, hits incredibly hard. On top of the plus one defense raise from Dauntless Shield, it becomes a giant threat in random battles. 
I ended up using it to my advantage here as I was able to muscle through most of my opponent's team with that and a combination of defensive Registe. My opponent even had Shedinja to try and stop me, but unfortunately for them, I had Gigalith, so I could set the sand and knock it right out. In the end, Zamazenta was able to live a plus two close combat from Sock just because of that Dauntless Shield, knock it out, and win me the points back. The next game was something similar. After avoiding being swept by a plus two Dynamax Scizor due to my own Dynamax Entei, I was able to take advantage of Duck Shiro's high speed tier and Arena Trap ability so my opponent couldn't switch and basically picked off all of my opponent's remaining Pokemon, giving me a two game win streak, which was then immediately cut short by a Landorus Incarnate plus Sticky Web. Even though they had given me a Starmie, they had not given me Rapid Spin. Combine that with my opponent making some really nice plays with their Dynamax Landorus, they were able to overwhelm me and stop my two game win streak. My next team had given me some really broken Pokemon. Moody Glalie, which could get random stat raises, Swords Dance Speed Boost Blaziken, and Calm Mind Agility Magirna, which even takes advantage of the fact that even if I do not knock out my opponent, but they die maybe due to Stealth Rock or Hazards or anything, I get special attack raises. With the combination of Swords Dance and Dynamax, I was able to stop an opposing Marowak from stopping my Blaziken and really just destroy most of my opponent's team. My opponent tried to fight back with some really nice doubles into Copper Raja on my Magirna, but whenever Blazing came out, it basically got a kill. And from there, I was able to grab another win. The next game, my opponent led with Raikou. Now, I was very, very weak to this Pokemon. Nothing on my team was faster. Somehow, though, my Nasty Plot Mesprit was able to beat the Combine Raikou, and one giant threat was gone, and the rest of their team was basically walled by the combination of my Lodic plus Lapras. They had a Poltergeist, which is one Pokemon you never want to see in random battles because Shell Smash Sweepers, especially when paired with Dynamax, are incredibly scary. But luckily, my Lapras landed Toxic, and on top of that, I was able to Dynamax, get up my Aurora Veil because of my Gigantamax move and basically stop the biggest threat and grab another win for once again another two game win streak. The next game was the most disgusting game of my life. I basically hacked or lucked the hell out of my opponent and to be honest I called it every single turn. I had a Porygon 2 with a Violite so it was already incredibly bulky. I got a plus one special attack raise from download and I basically paralyzed or freezed every threat. By the time my opponent was able to deal with me, they didn't have enough Pokemon left to win the game, and I ended up winning just because of my high speed tiers left. Needless to say, my opponent did not like Porygon 2 after that game. The next game, my opponent got way too trigger happy with Dynamax. They got an early plus three on their Cobalion and thought, I'm gonna try and sweep my opponent's entire team. And if we learned anything from the earlier Farfetch game, this does not work, especially when you don't know four of my members and your Cobalion is way too low. I end up forcing them out after Dynamaxing with my Marshadow, threatening to steal their boost with a Spectral Thief. And this let me play an endgame towards Dynamax Aerodactyl, allowing me to barely win versus a very threatening Lycanroc, simply because I got plus two speed, so even in the sand, they couldn't outspeed me with their sand rush ability, and I could always knock them out with Earthquake plus Life Orb, winning this game in a very narrow 1-0. The next game was something else. I overwhelmed my opponent so much with a combination of Dragalge, Skuntank, and Mandibuzz. I've never seen Mandibuzz be this much of an offensive threat. I gave my opponent absolutely no openings this game. Even at the end when they tried to nasty plot with Zoroark, Dynamax Mandibuzz sealed the deal. My next game was terrifying, and not because I was scared of my opponent's Pokemon, but I was scared of my opponent's ranking. They were 300 points less than me on the ladder. If I lost this game, all six games that I just won were for naught, as I would lose so many points. Luckily, they gave me Pokemon that I absolutely love to use in random battles. Fast, strong Pokemon. Choice Band Kartana and Choice Band Zygarde 10%. My opponent made some great plays with Jolteon trying to catch my Pokemon, but the combination of that, Serena, Assault Vest Arctivish, and my Gengar at the end were finally able to prevail and give me the win. We got seven points for that. I would have lost 57,000 points. At this point, I was number 17 on the ladder, and honestly, I was about to stop playing because I wanted to play some Pokemon Legends Arceus, but chat said, no, one more, one more. 
so I had to keep going. This game started off okay. They led Kabutops, I led Tornadus. I switched to throw just in case of a rock type attack as they go out to cure him white. And this was great because I could damage them with a circle throw to put them in range of a Psy Shock from my Latios. I ended up dragging in Heatran, which I noticed was on a balloon. And I noticed that my own Heatran was on a balloon as well. So I figured I could bring it in and maybe get up Stealth Rock to deal with them. After seeing my set, I thought that I could taunt them because they'd be the exact same set, get up my own Stealth Rock, and maybe use something else to beat them. However, they ended up being a Flash Cannon set, and not only that, winning the Speed Tie and knocking me out. So the game did not start great. I was forced to go Latios just to break their balloon and then they revealed Pikachu, which immediately crit my Weezing from full, putting me down another Pokemon. I decided to risk my Lycanroc as I had to hit Stone Edge to knock it out, and I wanted to just do a Celeroc, but I didn't have that as an option. Luckily, Lycanroc connects, and out comes Warring, an absolute threat to my remaining Latios, Tornadus, and Lycanroc. So I immediately Dynamax to try and counter this Warring, as they Dynamax the same. Luckily, Max Rockfall gets up to Sand, so their Max Geyser was weaker, and it looked like it was a roll to knock them out. My opponent max guards to try and take the hit, but luckily for me, Lycanroc was just a little bit too strong, and I was able to get rid of and waste my opponent's Dynamax. The game was definitely not over though. Lycanroc did its job and weakened Heatran with Stone Edge before going down, and it became Latios and Tornadus versus a half HP Heatran, a Curum White that was choice specs, and some mystery Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon was able to pull through and beat Heatran while taking very little damage from Flash Cannon. I was actually surprised. And their last Pokemon ended up being Terrakion. After sacking my Tornadus to the Life Orb Stone Edge, which I knew it would go for, I put it in range of Psy Shock and Latio Psy Shock the Kirin White for another win for me. I was so close to top 10. I decided to look for one last game. If I won this game, I could get to top 10. My chat started manifesting some Pokemon they hope I got. One of those was Volcarona. Now while Volcarona is usually a giant threat in singles and even VGC tiers with Quiver Dance, I didn't like it in random battles though, simply because of my track history with it. I get a Volk Sleep. Every single time I've gotten Volk, it's always been the, the worst Pokemon ever to have. So Team Preview loaded up, and then I saw Volcarona, who has 2200. So I don't think it's one more if I win this game at all <laughs> my god are you freaking kidding me i just said when i get volcarona i freaking lose how i wonder how many people clicked on your channel when it said legend arsis and they were lied to <laughs> ain't nobody lying bro oh, come on dude Every bit of chip matters. I, I can set up on that with Volk, but still. That's another mod that doesn't actually like, technically beat me. Can I just weaken you for Volcarona, please? That'd be great. Good, good crit. Let's try and burn this Rayquaza too. I don't want them surfing. Volcarona looks really good. It's just the Rayquaza is a giant threat. You want the beat? I got you right now. Honestly, you look completely useless. I don't care if they have your boys here. It's fine. Get agility just in case. This is great, that's why. You gotta like the playlist, you know? I really think I can beat... Rayquaza is the biggest threat to my team, man. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it right now. I'll get a boost. I'll get a defense raise, and I'll get a boost from them. Yup, let's go. All right, so I got a defense raise. I got plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Drop a Spotify win? No, I don't got a Spotify win, but I got this. I'm fast and everything. I killed that. Again, Rayquaza is the only thing I'm scared of. 
Rayquaza is the only thing I'm scared of, man. You okay, Puka? Oh my god, we did. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're real good now. We're real good right now. We're looking real good right now. Woo! Get out of my sight. It was so work the whole time. It might Dynamax here though. It's gonna Dynamax. Yep. Okay, I win this game on a few things. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because they're locked in a Dark Pulse, so who cares if they get Maxus? Doesn't matter. Come on, buddy. Get that throw out of my sight. Okay, there's one. There's one. There's one. Nice earth power. Sure would suck if I quiver dance. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Provided we don't get crit and we land, we win. This is Scarf as well. They had so many Scarfers. Wait, 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 wait. Does Bug Buzz into ESP just kill? Bruce is always the best player, but like... Puzzle Bug Buzz does 46 to 55. So 46 to 55. Okay, so that obviously we got to take that the minimum of that. And what is Entei? Toys Ban E Speed does 28 to 33. So it's 46 plus 28, which is definitely more than that already. I win the game guaranteed by clicking Bug Buzz. They're not even gonna, I mean, they can't kill me without critting anyway, but. Good game. I did it! That's top 10! Wait, no, that's not top 10. Is that top 10? Refresh. 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 That's it. Top 10. With 90 GXC, by the way. Well, there you have it. I hit top 10 on Pokemon Showdown Random Battles with a 90 GXC, and Volcarona ended up being my savior. I do hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Subscribe if you like competitive Pokemon comment, and obviously just give me some feedback, because I'm always up for changing things, and this is my first time doing this type of thing. So once again, hope y'all enjoyed. If you want to watch me live ladder, go to twitch.tv slash That link is down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new for more competitive Pokemon content. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.